OTP. What the heck does that mean? It's OTP and I have nothing clever to say. Let's get going. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review. And thanks to Nick Utam of WCBS, we have from Gate City Brewing Company in somewhere in Georgia, Roswell, Georgia. Uh-oh, do they have aliens there too? We have a canned craft beer, seems to be the thing of the day, OTP, which is a, not a single, but a double India Pale Ale, 8% alcohol. So my expectations is a deep golden color, a hoppy bitterness that's going to blow my nose off, and a fair amount of alcohol with a slight hint. So it's a West Coast style, I should have read that. Let's just get started, so I'm expecting fruitiness now. Ooh. No, East Coast is fruity, West Coast is piney, and then there's a Northwest that's piney. There's so many different styles of IPA now. There's a North uh, New England style IPA I gotta have to research. So there you go. Nice, wow, wow, I can smell the hops already. Nice golden color. Oh, multi backbone even on the nose. And that's the thing the IPA should have a nice malt backbone for all those hops to bounce off of. Oh, even the foam's got the hot bitterness and malty sweetness all rolled into one. Just dances around your tongue, confuses your brain. What, what are you drinking? Something sweet, something bitter. Something sweet, something bitter. Yes. Mm. And that's one thing I've noticed about double IPAs that have been canned. They're smoother than in the bottle. It's closer to draft. It's amazing how often a, a bitter, starky, IPA, when you have it on draft, it's so smooth. A lot of fish had 90 minute IPAs like that. So I get bitterness. I want to say hints of grapefruit. It's like a little bit of pine, but it's a fruitiness, but it's not overly fruity. It's just kind of dancing around. So no passion fruit, no orange, no, the citriness is more like a, a bitter grapefruit. And there's a lot of malt on that back end. It's almost like there's a lot of unfermented malts there. Hmm. According to Untaps, 99 IBUs. So to keep that bitterness from just curling the tongue in the back of your mouth, there's a fair amount of malt sweetness still there. But that sweet and bitter really balanced, but the bitterness is really there. Man, just, it's almost like chewing on hop flowers, hop cones. Wow. Mm. And there's hints of alcohol. So what does the can say? So uh, with a dank grapefruit aroma, finishes crisp and pairs well with white picket fence. Two and a half kids and a labradoodle. I think there's a joke in there somewhere. In fact, I think there's like four jokes in there. I don't know the hell a dank grapefruit is. I guess that's a tart, a tart grapefruit. I'm gonna check into this thing. Eight percent. This does not drink like it's only eight percent. It drinks more closer to ten. There's there's a hint of of alcohol warming very late. It's kind of about from here down. It's not really in the mouth. I suspect that on draft this is a little bit different. But it, yeah, dank. Actually, dank may be accurate. Especially on the aroma. It's like a grapefruit that's a little overripe and been sitting around a little too long. So how would I rate this? It's almost a mixture of styles. Because it has a pininess and it has a fruitiness. Almost like it can't make up its mind. And you normally don't want the... I mean, it has a bit of a grassiness to it. It has... 
it has characteristics like it has slight dry hop uh, in the secondary, but not a whole lot. Yeah, okay. Dank grapefruit. I'm starting to understand what that means. It's like make you bite into the grapefruit like the rind and all. And that's... And the more that, that I, I stay away from it, the more that that lingers. Wow. So it is chewy. It's chewy on the back end, mid-mouth late as opposed to early. And that what lingers in your mouth is that dankness. Hmm. It's very interesting because it's on purpose. It's not like it's a spoiled beer. But it almost has, oh, wow, even on the belch it's there. It has a characteristic of being around too long. And I'm guessing that that's the joke of the white picket fence, two and a half kids, and a labradoodle. They don't have a white picket fence. They only have two kids, and we don't have a we don't have a labrador anything, or a doodle anything. So no poodles, no labrador retrievers. But, you know, I guess technically Maggie may have been a white labrador. We're not sure what she was. Snuggles was not. And right now we've got a mutt and a German Shepherd. Hmm. This one's tough for me to uh, judge because I don't know what they went for. It doesn't have, um, it's not balanced. It doesn't stay balanced. It feels balanced and then it's unbalanced after you've had it. This has been sitting out a little while but it's probably still a little cold. So I'm um, suspecting that the fruitiness will show up a little bit better. But it's almost like someone took an East Coast and a West Coast IPA and slammed them together. And so, but they kind of took some of the pininess out that you typically get on a West Coast IPA, uh, the fruitiness of an East Coast IPA, but that West Coast influence kind of makes it that dank grapefruit. You get grapefruit, but you don't get, you don't get lemon, you don't get orange, you don't get passion fruit, uh, any of those lighter uh, citrusy, it's almost like, it's not even pink grapefruit, it's like, I've actually had a grapefruit that's actually tasted like this, I know, it's very thick rind, it's not a bright color, it's like an orange, as opposed to the yellowness that you'd expect from a grapefruit, not pink, so it doesn't have that lightness to it, it's kind of a darkness to it, and it's not, it was fine, but it was un unexpected. I mean, this is almost like a stereotypical grapefruit where it's just kind of in your face. So, I'm going to assume that's what they're going for. And on that, I give it four and a quarter. So, four and a quarter. Now, food pairings is even harder because this is a major flavor beer. Did I get any? Oh, look at that. I got a hopped up and a 2X, 2X level 36. Because this is the kind of beer that you're going to have by itself. Man, oh man, almost any flavor is going to magnify that. Spicy fish tacos, and they need to be spicy. No jalapenos. No cayenne. Mm. Hints of habanero peppers. There's another one, it's a little one, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's pretty hot, but very flavorful. But you don't want the jalapeno flavor. You can have fish tacos, so like a tilapia fish, well seasoned, corn, rice, beans, sharp cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, red onion, chopped red onion. And on a soft taco shell. Ooh. Salsa, so you get a mango salsa, say about a 7 out of 10 on spiciness, and that maybe 7.5, so you get the sweetness of the mango. Guacamole, no sour cream, but on the guacamole, it's got to be chunky, not smooth, with hot peppers. There you go, there's your pairing. So you get that dank grapefruit, you get the fish, so a nice white fish, not very fishy fish if you will, 
very flavorful corn in there too. Would it be a corn salsa? Maybe. But you definitely want on the outside a salsa, a mango salsa, hot mango salsa, guac. You don't necessarily need rice on the outside. You could do Spanish rice. Maybe. I might be pushing the flavors too much. So there you go. So there's not only a pairing, there's a, there's a recipe in there somewhere. Let me know how that goes. So have you tried Gate City Brewing Company's Double IPA with their dank grapefruit? Let me know what you what you know what you bleh, let me know in the comments below and it's going to make me buzz them before i'm even half done with it thank you very much nick for the beers you've given me and a chance to review these and i hope that the breweries see these responses and these videos and tell me about them thanks for retweeting thanks for sharing thanks so much for stopping by thanks a lot for the comments and get your all your friends and neighbors to subscribe thank you very much goodbye Kannst du Wasser trinken? Zu trinken. Time for some Bill and Ted. Probably need to get in a little closer with air to extra dry. Now I might be off screen, I don't know.